welcome back dear students under algebra number theory we are in unit 2 finite fields and polynomials in that now we are in lecture number 3 where we are going to have a look at the division algorithm which is a very important concept in number theory let's get on to the presentation so before having the overview we are already seen two lectures lecture 1 and lecture 2 which was the introduction of a polynomial and how to find the roots and degrees of the polynomial so here we will continue with the concept where we are going to divide one polynomial by the other polynomial right so now let's get on to the presentation so first we have an introduction of what is a division algorithm etc and the theorem and a problem to be discussed so let's have the introduction it was the work of a great mathematician called euclid who had invented the division algorithm so as a csc and it student you should know what is an algorithm is so an algorithm is a series of well defined steps that gives you a procedure for solving a particular type of problem and now what is algebraic division and what is polynomial division algebraic division which can be also treated as polynomial division which are well known in your school days i guess in your 8th standard or 9th standard you will be introduced how to divide a polynomial uh, an algebraic equation by another algebraic division algebraic equation so the same concept is applied but here we are going to use the polynomial right both are the same the concept of extending the polynomial division but using modulo is carried out here clear Now let's have the statement of division algorithm. Now let's consider f of x is not equal to zero, a polynomial, and g of x be polynomials in capital F of x. Then there exist unique polynomials q of x and r of x. By looking at this itself, you could clearly say that q of x will denote quotient. and r of x will denote the remainder belonging to capital f of x such that g of x is equal to q of x into f of x plus r of x where r of x is equal to 0 what is r of x the remainder the remainder can be 0 or the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of f of x this condition is very important this will be extended till your gcd of polynomials so now let me explain this division algorithm by a simple uh, example given now let me consider 7 okay i'm going to divide this 7 by 3 so how many times it will go two times right two times so 3 into 2 will give you 6 so what is your answer remaining answer is 1 so how see how i have named it the remainder the answer after subtracting or adding or whatever it may be the the answer is called as the remainder and the one which is on the top how many times that is the quotient the number which is dividing is called as the divisor and the number which is being divided is called the dividend clear now why didn't i proceed further why didn't i do it why because i have seen that the remainder is less than the divisor correct my answer is 1 my divisor is 3 so i can stop it suppose if my answer is 10 for example if i say my answer is 10 and i see my divisor is 3 will i stop it no i should not i will proceed further unless and until my remainder is the number which is less than the divisor this is what is mentioned here you can accept or you can stop the division when the remainder becomes zero or the degree of the remainder is less than degree of f of x now what is f of x f of x is the divisor so what is clearly mentioned about the divisor here the divisor term should not be equal to zero why if something is divided by zero what will happen yes you know the concept it is undefined so that's why it's clearly mentioned 
f of x is not equal to 0. Right? Now let's have a problem for discussion. Now they are given you g of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 by f of x is equal to x minus 2. So if they are saying by something, you substitute that value as your divisor. Right? Now what will be treated as your dividend? Dividend should always be a higher degree term. Remember that. So a term which is of higher degree should be put up inside and we should be used as your dividend. Right. So how do I use this polynomial division? First let me take the first value. What is the first coefficient here? First value x cube. Take that x cube divided over x. So if I am going to divide x cube over x, what do I get? I get x square. Write it on top. Clear? Now take x square. Take x square and multiply this. So if I am going to take x square and multiply this, it is going to be x square into x is x cube minus x square into 2 will give you 2x square. Clear? So now what do I do? I change the sign here. So x cube and x cube will get cancelled. And if I go to change plus here, what will happen? My answer will be minus x square. And then bring down this x, uh, sorry, bring down this 4x here. So I'm going to bring down this 4x. So I'm having minus x square plus 4x. Again, take the first number, minus x square divided over x. I'm getting minus x. Write it on top as the quotient term. Take that minus x and multiply by this. So you'll be getting minus x square. Minus of minus is plus 2x. So now again change the sign. Cancel out x square. Now again if I change the sign it will be minus here. So it's going to be 4x minus 2x. My answer is plus 2x. Again take this plus 2x. Divide it over x. I'm getting plus 2. Bring down this 5. So now 2. Take 2 and multiply over x minus 2. So I'm going to multiply over x minus 2. I'm getting 2x minus 4. When I change the sign, 2x and 2x will get cancelled. If I'm going to sign, change the sign here, so it's going to be 5 plus 4 will give you 9 as my answer. Now can you tell me which is the dividend term, the term which is inside. x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 is your dividend. The divisor term is x minus 2. The quotient term is x square minus x plus 2. And the remainder term is 9. This is how I am going to represent as your division algorithm in the next slide. So what I have done here. Here the quotient is q of x is equal to x square minus x plus 2. And the remainder term is r of x which is 9. Therefore by division algorithm we have g of x can be written as the product of the divisor and the quotient plus the remainder. So what was your g of x? The term which was divided. Dividend x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. What was your quotient? x square minus x plus 2. What was your function? x minus 2 which you use for division plus the remainder 9. Therefore this polynomial can be extended to polynomials over finite fields also. Hope you understood the division algorithm and a small example which was under division algorithm. Thanks for watching. Let's continue in the next lecture.